Welcome once again to Joyous Expansion's video blog. Today, talking about something that's near and dear to my heart. One of my supreme intentions, my one of my most sacred inner intentions, is to be a bit being of unconditional love. And I was listening to, let me look it up, The Mind-Body Code by Mario Martinez. And he mentions unconditional love in his book, or I listen to audiobooks. And he mentions that unconditional love isn't something you should strive for because it can allow you to pretty much be in hurtful situations. For instance, if you are a woman <laughs> and your man hits on you and you shouldn't go back to him because you love him. And that's kind of like this unconditional way of loving. Which, really, it isn't. It is not an unconditional love. That isn't unconditional love at all. That generally is love with a lot of conditions. Unconditional love means what it sounds like. Love without any conditions. Love even though the person doesn't love you back. Love without getting anything in return. It's the ultimate gift without receiving because it's just giving. Well, it's more than just giving. It's just being. It's just being love and loving unconditionally. And it starts with yourself. You have to love yourself unconditionally. That means love yourself no matter what mistake you make. Love yourself no matter what sin you do. Love yourself no matter what you do because we're human and we make mistakes. I know I do. I make a lot of mistakes. I mean, yeah. <laughs> One thing that's important, though, is that it does start with yourself and the unconditional love of yourself. And then you spread that love outwards to your fellow man. And it is an un conditional that means no conditions that means no matter what and that also means they don't have to be in your life you can love somebody that's not in your life if someone is abusive to you you can unconditionally love them a hundred miles away in fact it's more loving to be a hundred miles away because you can't save anybody Unconditional love is not unconditionally trying to save people. People cannot be saved if they don't want to be. And un being unconditional loving isn't being unconditionally trying to save people. And generally when you try to save somebody who does not want help, it's mostly your own baggage and your own decision that they have to be changed or they have to be different. It's not what they want. And that's just your own baggage. That's not giving with the sake of giving. That's giving with the hope that they do something. So, yeah, the problem is, it, especially until you become, I guess, divine and unconditionally loving, it's very painful because you have to be very vulnerable because love is very vulnerable. And it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful way of being. It's a pain that's worth it. At least that's what I have decided. I've decided that the pain is worth it. And I strive to live Mother Teresa's quote, which is the greatest paradox of all, is that if you love until it hurts, there is no hurt. So every day I strive to be a more and more loving being and really just love for the sake of loving, for the sake of serving. But that doesn't mean I try to save anybody who doesn't want to be saved. If I see even someone I love and really care about, and they're doing something that I find is not a good idea, unless they ask for my help, I love them enough to believe that they can figure it out on their own. And if they want my help, I'll offer it. If they don't want it, I will be fine with it. Because it's their life. And who am I to say that their life should be something different? I can just love them and just send them my love and really just be there for them in a loving sort of manner without taking my baggage and giving it to them. 
unconditionally loving is a way to help with feeling good. It's like my other blog, Help and Feel Good. It's an unconditional loving state where you help someone without giving your baggage to the help. Because it's from an unconditional loving place. And also when it comes to being in an abusive relationship, my belief, this is mine, is that if you're a healthy, whole human being, you won't harm another person. And I also believe that harming another person harms the person who's doing the harming. If that makes, of course that makes sense. So... If I were to strike someone, I'm harming myself because it does not feel good to harm another human being. So allowing someone to harm you is allowing somebody to harm themselves and you. So it's a double sword of stay the heck away from them because they harm you. And that's my belief is first them hitting you harms you because being hit hurts and can bruise and damage and it's also emotionally painful and so you can love from far distance away plus it harms them as well you're not loving them by staying for them you're enabling them to hurt themselves even more and continuing this dangerous cycle that physical abuse can um, I guess the worst word permutate it's a cycle that starts and it's a good idea to break the cycle and truly love yourself and find someone also who will love you. I mean that's another important part of being unconditional loving is also being unconditionally well I don't know why unconditionally smart but it also means taking responsibility for your decisions and making good ones. So when you get into a relationship with a person make sure that they're a good match for you not someone will just try to take advantage of your unconditional loving nature they will love you in their own way back and fulfill your needs as well as you fulfilling their needs so it's about making good choices as well as unconditionally loving and serving through that unconditional loving place so in conclusion Unconditional love is what it sounds like. Loving unconditionally. It's not about condoning unconditionally. It's not about being abused unconditionally. It's not about being taken advantage of unconditionally. It's not about being beaten unconditionally. It's about loving unconditionally and protecting yourself if that needs to be the case. If you need to get away, if you need to block and throw a fist to it from a fist of love. <laughs> I, Brett Dupree, am a being of infinite love. I live every day giving out the love that is in my heart. <laughs>